Hi guys, this is Full Moon Magic 26 and today it's a full moon. Alright, you can see it in the bay. It is a full moon. So today I am going to show you once again how to make yourself a full moon water, guys. Okay, you can do exactly the same if you would like to make a new moon water or, you know, um, any water that you want to use for a casting but I am full moon magic 26 and I believe in the power of the full moon and therefore I'm gonna show you again how to make a full moon water okay guys it's very simple very very effective you can use this full moon water to cleanse yourself all right if you feel like you have a lot of negative energy around you you can uh you know you can bath yourself with it all right or if you feel that you need to refresh and renew your energy you can do you can use the full moon water you can also use full moon water for anything else all right uh, such as casting money spell or that requires water because it's full moon water has this really superb energy as you can see it right now in the bay we are in the bay right now you can just see it and that is uh the beach and that's the full moon out there and it's really really cold but you can see how beautiful is the full moon reflecting um, on the water guys okay so what you're going to need is you're gonna need to do it outside you cannot make a full moon water when you're inside of your house regardless of you know if you have a, a glass it still needs to be outside to absorb the energy of the full moon what you're going to need is you are going to need i'm going to show you guys okay you're going to need there it is okay you're going to need a clear glass okay clear jar i'm using a clear jar okay with a this is a spring water all right you must use a spring water you must use if you want to use a um, water from your well to those people that have well uh, it has to be some water some type of water that is really pure like in nature you know like if you have a spring in your garden or if you live in a mountain and you have a spring so those are really good mineral water has a lot of minerals that's why it's called mineral water you know you cannot use tap water you cannot use uh, the water from your tap or from your faucet you call it in usa you cannot use that because there's a lot of uh chlorine or oh, it's lots of a uh, treatment water treatment which then you know obstruct your the, the purity of your full moon water guys okay so what you need to do is you are going to have a clear glass such as this okay i don't know if you could see it okay that's my that's a, a, a bottle of spring water and if you can get a lid that's even better because what we're gonna do is you're gonna tilt it okay um what i do in when i make a full moon water guys is i do three different jars one i use a quartz okay and that is uh, uh that that water will be used for for a love spell if i'm doing a love spell then i will use that uh, full moon water with a uh, rose quartz now if you are looking to use the full moon water to uh, for a money spell then i used to put a green adventuring on my jar okay that then bring that you know positive energy of money and uh and if you are looking for health, then you're going to use a, a blue, okay, a uh, blue candle or a blue stones, uh, or also, um, what do you call it, um, uh, amethyst, also very good, okay, there's a lot of minerals, I'm not expert in minerals, but I only have very little knowledge of the minerals I, I, I just use to the one that I really need, or or what you need to do is just use a a plain row a uh, plain uh quartz okay the the just a plain quartz all right uh that's also very good all right so what you do is this i'm just gonna do it because i have uh my hand in it 
So you are going to fill your water with jar. Let's say I'm using it for money, okay? I am using a green adventurine or I will put a bay leaf inside, all right? Um, just want to just show you. Let me just put this, all right, uh, on a on a stand. Let me just do this. <sighs> all right, so then you can see it. Uh, that is the full moon. All right, that's a full moon. All right. So what you know is you're going to have your jar. Okay, that's my jar. All right, that's my jar. And if I want to use this for my... If I want to use it for my, um, you know, for my uh, money spell, all right, I'm going to use a bay leaf, okay? I have a fresh bay leaf down somewhere here. I think I just dropped it. Oh, yeah, there it is. I have a fresh bay leaf in here, okay? So that's a... Let's see. That's my fresh bay leaf, okay? There it is. Uh, just dropped. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Get dropping things. Okay, there it is. Okay. Uh, what are you? Where are you? I can't see myself. So there it is. That's my first bay leaf. Okay. There it is. Okay. My first bay leaf, and I put that inside. All right. Can you see it, guys? All right. So what I need to do then is I will then close the jar. All right. Can you see it? Okay close the jar all right close it tight okay close the jar tight and what i do i'm just gonna put it in here i'm gonna have to put it in here with the two candles uh in there is in i'm actually in my patio all right guys so i have two candles somewhere here all right so what i do is i have the jar okay there's a lot of bay leaf here uh see it okay you close it and I have the full, I'm just going to move this so I get the full sun. Yeah. So that's my water. All right. I have a bay leaf in there. This is a full moon water I'm making to, uh, for my uh, money spell. All right. So what then I do is instead of dropping the full moon water there. All right. You can't really do that, guys. Okay. Because what it does is, you know, you have these obstacles. So the moon will be going in the other side. And of course, you are, uh, you know, you're obstructing it using your lid. But you have to put the lids because sometimes you get snails coming in or you have some slugs coming in. So you have to make sure it's protected. So what I do is you get this water. Yeah. And you're going to turn it upside down. You see, guys? Yeah, that turn it upside down because in all the direction of the moon, if the moon goes in this side, okay, which is what we have right now, okay, there it is, all right, there it is, okay, there it is, okay. If the moon is in this side, you're gonna be able to get the energy of the moon. If the moon goes on the south, you still get the energy of the moon. If it goes on the west, you still get the energy of the moon. So whichever angle is, is the moon, is the full moon, you will get the full energy of that, guys. All right? So this is how you will get, you know, the difference, how to make a full moon water using uh, the water that we have in here. And you can use these anything so just turn it upside down okay so it's got the lid so what you do is turn it upside down and leave it there all right overnight and before the sunrise okay before the sunrise in your country you make sure you take this water inside okay and there you have it you will have the full moon water and complement of that full moon out there and get the full energy of the full moon all right, guys, there it is, okay? So this is uh, Full Moon Magic 26. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And this is, I'm just gonna, it is quite hard doing this on my own. Uh, there it is, guys, okay? This is a full moon water. All right, there you go. All right, just gonna put it that way so you get it, okay? There you have it. There you go. All right, here you go. I should fall my water, guys.